What's going on guys? So I'm coming to you today with another great review. Uh, this is going to be on the Tansung Kitchen Knife. Uh, this is an 8 inch knife. Uh, it's made out of German steel. 1.4116. It's got a uh, hardness rating on the Rockwell scale of 58. So it should be relatively easy to sharpen. Um, it's going to hold its edge relatively well and be easy to recover it. Uh, so it'd be, make a good kitchen knife, especially for cutting vegetables and things like that, which I'm going to do some cutting here in a few minutes. Uh, we'll go over it real quick. comes in this great little package here. Um, like most of the Tansung products, comes in a nice package. Great for gifting, uh, either housewarming gifts or wedding gifts or whatever the case may be. Uh, you can see here, the nice comes in this nice little foam padded case here. We can take it out. Um, it's going to be the Tansung. has a nice design on it. Almost reminds me of Damascus steel. Uh, it's not Damascus. It is German steel. Uh, it does seem to have a relatively nice edge right out of the box. We're going to test it out. Um, these are going to be G-Series handles. They're like a plastic carbon material. Uh, a lot of pocket knives and stuff come with those. The knife feels really good in the hand as far as holding it. Um, balance wise, yeah, we're a little bit off on balance by just a little bit. So that gives you a general idea right there of where your balance point's at. I would like to see that a little bit further out. Maybe a little less weight in the handle. But overall, feels good. It's got a nice comfortable feel to it with the rocking motion. Uh, should make for a great knife. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this uh, washed up and ready to go, and we'll come back, and I'm going to cut some vegetables here with it and give you my opinion on how it slices, how it dices, uh, and really how it feels in the hand. So bear with me just a second while I get this washed up. All right. So we got this washed up. Nice and clean, sanitized, ready to go so we can cut some vegetables that we're going to use for dinner. Um, again, like I said, very nice look to it. I'm bringing it up here where you can get a close-up view. Uh, you can see there that whole Damascus look to the steel itself. Uh, really nice appearance to it. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm um, going to set this onion off to the side because we're going to do some dicing with it. But I'm going to take this tomato and we're going to just see how this thing slices. Nice, even cut. And we'll come in here and... There you go. Look at that. Almost paper thin. Nice little slice there. We'll give it one more here. And there again, right out of the box, guys. Um, we're cutting paper thin. You can actually see through the tomato slice there that I just did. Uh, that's actually pretty nice. I like that. I like a knife that comes out of the box ready to go. I don't like a knife that I'm going to have to set and sharpen and put a nice fine edge on so we can utilize it in the kitchen. Um, do another cut here. Yeah. So as you can see, it's cutting through this tomato like butter. Really nice. Uh, cut nice smooth cuts in it. Um, a small paper towel here. We'll wipe the tomato juice off of it. Just like that. Now we're going to lay this onion out. And cut the tip off the end here. Very nice. Good smooth cut as I almost lose the onion. Uh, then we're going to come in here and I'm just going to cut a ringlet section out of this. Just like that. Slide that off our knife. I'm going to pull the peel off of it, set it off over here to the side. Uh, we'll just chop that down, flip it over onto itself, and dice this up. Now, this is where a kitchen knife is going to excel as far as how it feels in the hand when you're actually physically doing that rocking motion. But you can see here, uh, nice smooth motion with this knife. Very easy to operate and cut. 
I am no kitchen expert by all means. Um, so don't expect me to cut like a master chef. I am just an amateur in the kitchen. Beth is definitely a lot better in the kitchen than I am. But you can see there, um, nice, even dicing. The knife, like I said, feels really good in the hand. Um, again, it's a Rockwell hardness of 58. Uh, I'll put a picture of the scale up here so you can get a generalization for that. Should be a knife that's easy to resharpen in the kitchen. Tansung makes a great knife sharpener. Uh, we'll talk about that in another video but you can use it to actually put an edge right back on this blade if it does become dull. Uh, just always keep in mind with your knives. Plastic and wood is the way to go. Cutting on glass, cutting on ceramic, cutting in plates, things of that nature tends to want to roll the edge of the blade. Uh, destroys that fine edge to it. You know, Good stiffness to the knife, not super thick in the hilt. Uh, does appear to have full tan construction. Nice rivets in the handles. Guys, I'm going to tell you, if you're looking for an 8-inch kitchen knife, I can definitely recommend this so far. Uh, it feels really good in the hand, as I said before, and we could do some nice cutting, nice dicing with it. That rocking motion that you can get out of it as you're slicing up, making those nice cuts. Just keep working that knife through. I'm impressed. I really am. Um, I think Tan Skung's got a good product here. We've done several reviews on their kitchen shears and poultry shears. I'll post a link to those videos up there. And uh, again, here we are with a Tan Sung knife. And uh, guys, I'm impressed. Guys, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Thank you for sticking with us. We're definitely going to come to you with more videos, review videos, how-tos, lifestyle, adventure, and travel. So stay with us. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Drop comments or questions down below, and we'll be coming to you with more.